Hi gang, this is a handheld Wimshurst machine, adapted from a commercially made one. Someone had asked me how to make a portable electrostatic machine, and while this wasn't my answer, I thought this would be pretty cool to try out. I started with this commercially made Wimshurst machine I've used in many of my videos. I'd already drawn a 3D model of it in Blender a while ago, so I modified that to design this new model. Using that as a guide, I collected the parts, some made out of wood. I then painted the wood parts black. I disassembled the Wimshurst machine and began assembling the handheld version. I started with the base for the disc assembly, then attached the collectors to a cross piece, followed by attaching that to the disc assembly. Next came putting together the base for the two Leiden jars. Most people don't know it because it's usually hidden, but the outer cylinders for the two Leiden jars are electrically connected together. And so, in addition to bolting them to the base, I connected them with a wire. Putting it all together, I slid the basis on a pole, a piece of ABS pipe. And that was followed by the handle for this handheld Windsor's machine gun. But there was still some wiring to do. In a normal Wimshurst machine, the collectors are connected to the inner cylinder of the Leiden jars in a spark gap. So I attached one end of the wires to the collectors and the other ends to the inner cylinder and spark gap. Done. Well, almost. I ended up removing some paint here because the paint turned out to be electrically conductive and was like connecting these two collectors together with a high resistance wire. Once I'd done that, I was plenty dangerous. Of course, don't try zapping yourself or anyone else. However, as you can see, you can still have some fun. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more fun videos like this. That includes one on how to make your own Wimshurst machine using CDs, another on a neat high speed electrostatic motor called a Corona motor, and for variety, one on using sound for propulsion, also known as acoustic propulsion. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.